this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome to a special bonus episode of Let's Play Chrono Trigger! Hey Marley! Sounds vulgar. Anyway, in this episode, I'm going to be showing a variation of the normal ending by taking the epoch to 1999 AD with the party that you, the fans, have voted for. So, first I want to thank you for participating in the vote, viewers. I appreciate it. And thanks for giving me the two worst characters in the game and making my life a lot harder than it needed to be. No, actually, Krog's not nearly as bad as I made him out to be in my test run, at least. He didn't seem too useless, so... Oh, are you kidding me, Frog? Um, now, maybe you don't know this because you're from 600 AD, but um, when a vehicle crashes into a solid object, it usually has a tendency to explode, especially when you're going at it at light speed. Hold on, everyone! It's gonna be a bumpy ride! Ludicrous speed! Go! All ahead, full! Ah! Okay, we're heading at light speed. I know we're right next to lava, so let's get him! Any minute now, we'll Imp impact any minute. There we go. Why did that take so long? I mean, wh what what are we doing? Like doing a practice lap around the Earth to make sure we hit him? Or what? Are we building up momentum to hit Lavos or something? I don't know. Ow. Yes, that's right, viewers. If you take the Epoch to 1999 AD, you don't have to fight all those optional, well, the, not optional, but all those sub-bosses and forms of lava. So let me just check my equipment real quick here. Yeah, everything's okay. I just wanted to double check, make sure I had all my equipment set up correctly. So with that out of the way, let's fight Lavos one more time. You cannot hide from me, Lavos. I see you. Oh, okay. I guess maybe you don't need to hide. Yeah, I just realized Lavos only has one eye here. Huh. Well, now it is time for our finest battle against Lavos with Frog. So, first things first, we have to survive his doors of doom. Ow. Now, I don't understand why the guys take so much more damage from that than uh, Marley there. Uh, Marley does not have the um, prison press equipped, by the way. Because um, I don't have one from the save file that I had there. So, I had to go back to my Black Omen file from before. Oh, wait, Marley wants to cast a case on herself. So, yeah, first thing you want to do, Chrono, use Luminaire. And while his HP is low, have Frog use Frog Squash! I can't believe how much damage that thing does. It does a lot more than I thought it would. Well, there you are. So now we got Marley hasted up. Let's use Luminaire and Frog Squash again. And we gotta keep Chrono's HP up there, so. By the way, if you wanna see my equipment arrangements, uh, look at the video description for this episode. I put it there. I have a feeling I'm not gonna have enough time to get through all this. Um, and show you all my equipment all in one episode. I think it's gonna go down to the wire, so. Krog is usually pretty weak, and if he's dealing a lot of damage, that's because his HP is really low. Let's go with Luminaire. Cure yourself there, Marley, and I'm gonna have Krog wait, I think this might be able to finish off that right arm there. Or maybe not. Okay, another Frog Squash, why not? Can you imagine the headlines if Frog actually killed Lavos? Lava raining monster destroyed by giant frog. <laughs> and now he's using obstacle. This um, inflicts chaos on all your party members. Unless you have status protection equipment. And now that we only have one part to deal with, I'm having Chrono use Confuse there. And uh, I'll just have Marley. Let's see here. 
Eh, I guess it doesn't matter. Someone's gonna have to get it. But yeah, I mean, Marley is in charge of the healing because she really doesn't have much that's useful to do. So, a couple other um, Chrono there and another Confuse. Good job, Frog. Wow, that's a lot of damage. I just hope he can survive another attack. Probably not, but and I want to keep his HP low. If you really need to heal him, though, like he's on the brink of death, then I guess you can use Marley's aura so you don't heal too much HP. Whoa! Man, I can't believe Frog survived that one. Let's see, we really want to keep uh, Kranos MP up there, so let's use an elixir on him. We should be getting very close to the end of the battle there, so... I just don't want to have to spend turns restoring um, MP, or at least as few turns as possible, destroying MP in, against Lava's next form, so... There we go. Got him! Get rid of those bat wings you got on your head there, too, while you're at it. Choke on it, too. Why don't you get a Leia Organa-style haircut while you're at it, too? What is with that, anyway? Is that, like, the peak of evolution? That hairstyle? Oh, man. How would you know that, Marley? You're not a scientist. Uh, why are you talking to yourself, Marley? Uh, who are you talking to? I think you've been inside Lavos a little too long. Oh, so it's okay to rear cattle and animals, but humans and frogs, oh no, no, we can't have that. Okay, well, Frog's probably going to die here, but oh well, that's okay. First things first, we want Chrono to use Confuse on the left bit there. That'll take that out. And I'm just going to have Frog... Well, if you can, use Frog Squash, I guess. There we go. I don't want him to wait for uh, the right bit to lower its defense, because I'm guessing Frog is probably going to die first. So, Yep. There we go. Now I'm just going to use a... Re Whoa! Wow, that's a lot of damage. No way we're surviving that one. So yeah, for now I'm just going to use Confuse, and uh, Frog doesn't really have much... Did Frog just lose his haste? His, AT, his bar is filling up really slowly. Huh. And the Lava Core isn't lowering its defense. What the hell? Well, okay, Hyper Other, Frog, yeah, we gotta get our MP back up there. Oh, wow, that was easier than I thought. I didn't expect him to buy that quickly. Well, that's not gonna do a whole lot there, Frog. You might wanna... Oh, he already lowered his defense? Did he do that while I wasn't looking? What the hell? <laughs> I didn't expect to kill him this quickly, viewers. Sorry if you wanted to see more of Lavos' attacks. I'm sure he'll get to revive them quickly enough. Alright, defense down! Oh, yeah, we might want to uh, use a Hyper Ether on Chrono there. Die to my giant frog and his huge eyes and his rainbow skin. What is with the frog, anyway, there? Well, that can't be good. I think it's time for another frog squash to take him out. Oh, apparently frog got his haste back. Uh, for some reason, it seems that whenever he, um... Whenever frog that When frog died on the first turn, he didn't seem to have his haste, I guess, or something or other like that. So I'm just going to keep using Luminaire here because the right fits. Um, has its defense down still. Come on, hurry up. we got to hurry up before he gets his defense up. Now, after I'm done here, I'm just going to skip to the part in the ending that's different because, like, the Millennial Parade and all that other stuff is still the same as before. So I don't want to waste time and 
besides, I'm going to have to fit that into one episode, so I'm not going to have time to go through all that again anyway, so. Oh, come on, we almost got him. He might actually raise his defense again because of his AI scripts or something like that, but I should be able to get him. Yeah! We got him. Go, Frog! Oh, quit pissing off Lavos. You know he's just gonna go back in time and try and kill you guys like a Terminator or reverse abortion sort of thing. And he can do that, you know. 